Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I made a video. Uh, we have a long um, weekend, a Memorial Day weekend here in US. Uh, so I've been spending some time with friends and family. Um, so, but today I want to bring you a video, a quick video update for Ripple XRP uh, to USD pair. Um, today is May 28, uh, 940A. 9:45 a.m. Uh, and just want to bring you a quick update on Ripple, mainly on the technicals right now, um, and what are some potential for the rest of this week. Uh, a lot of the market have been selling off for uh, last few days. Um, uh, the last video I made, I, I was talking about if there is a, a broader sell-off in the market, uh, that that will bring a better buying opportunities, and that was exactly what I think that is right now. Uh, we are seeing a lot of the altcoin sell-off. Uh, Bitcoin is holding up, uh, but in the broader altcoin, we are seeing like 5%, 7% uh, decline. Um, but in my opinion, it's still a good buying opportunity in a lot of these coins. Okay, uh, for, rip, uh, for Ripple, uh, Ripple is sitting around 3.5% down right now for today. So let's dive into Ripple right now. So Ripple is trading at about $0.58. Cents. Um, so last time when I talked about Ripple, it was in this wedge formation. Um, I was expecting the breakout, or like some kind of support from this, and like you know, um, maybe going up uh, and perhaps breaking out of this wedge. But what we, what happened is, it sold off with the overall market. So I'm gonna let me zoom this in. Okay, let me just zoom this in a little bit so you can see this. So what happened is around that May 8th, May 9th time frame, um, we couldn't hold the support level, the intermediate support level in Ripple, uh, which was around the 80 cents mark. Um, 80 cents mark was provide it provided some support previously, some resistance uh, before that. So that 80 cents mark uh, will act as going down it will act as a support coming up it will act as a resistance so keep that in mind because a lot of trading did happen around that 80 cents mark all right so when i when you have those support and resistance point um, that basically means that a lot of buyers are interested at that point to buy and sell so 80 cents is one of those support and resistance point uh, when if the price action is below that and we're trying to go up there uh, a lot of people will try to sell it, take the profit, and if there is enough momentum, then we will break that resistance, and which is a good sign for the bulls going up, okay? And vice versa when we are coming down. Uh, so what happened is we broke that um, the support uh, for the 80 cent support in Ripple. We came down with the overall market. The next support level was around uh, 72 cents. I'm going to mark that red now since the price right now is below that so when we are going up it will act as a resistance okay so do keep that in mind and I'm going to um, mark the 80 cents as a resistance point so we know that it will act as a resistance while uh, when the price action goes up from the current 58 cents okay uh, so it tried to uh, it tried it came all the way down to around 63 cents uh, now 63 cents will also act as a resistance going up um, so you know everything when I like you know anything that was provided that provided a support previously it act as a resistance um, going um, going up okay so um, in Ripple, okay, so in Ripple uh, right now, the market is selling off, a lot of altcoin is selling off, but Ripple only had a, a minor sell-off, like it only had a sell-off for about 3.5%, which is not a really, um, if you look at, like compared to a lot of other altcoins, it's still decent, it's not a, like, you know, major sell-off. Uh, what I see in Ripple right now uh, is we are coming to a major uh, support level, okay? So this support level uh, uh, trend, trend line is coming all the way from the December time frame it provided the support back in the April early April time frame and now we are right on that support and getting some bounce from that support trend 
Um, so in my opinion, uh, this support right now is a very crucial support for Ripple, and it most likely it will hold up in Ripple if the and and, and the, you know if the overall market condition doesn't deteriorate significantly from here. And I don't expect it to deteriorate. A lot of like these coins are coming to a uh, oversold territory and in my opinion they're in good position to like you know have a nice bounce um coming to this week all right um just just a reminder you know um the u.s market were closed today uh, because of the memorial day uh the trading volume i don't expect it to be very heavy today uh, but perhaps going into uh, later into the evening we might see some momentum toward um the bulls uh, and you you might see some sh uh, short squeeze um short squeeze is basically like you know people who are short some position who are just you know and um they're getting like you know buyers are coming in and they have to close those short positions um and that will create this kind of like upward momentum uh in the in the price action okay um for the resistance if i let's talk about the um so if I I'm drawing this trend line, the resistance line right now, the point that I'm picking up is the one from the February 16th, and then the one we had in mid mar uh, mid April, early May. Um, so those levels will act as a uh, resistance up here. So this is a big wedge. Uh, if I like, let's zoom this out. Okay, uh, hold on. All right, so if you see this, all right, so as far as the support goes, this support trend line coming from December provided the support at in the April, early April, uh, then is providing the support right now. So this is a must hold support for uh, for Ripple um, in order to have a nice, like, you know, I mean, you will see this, like, you know, it's in a, this major wedge formation right now, and um, you, we have to, like, you know, it, it might come, like, you know, it might have a choppy action until then. I don't expect, a, like, a major move in Ripple uh, beyond, like, 80 cents um, within, like, a week, all right? Uh, we might have a good 10, 15 percent but i don't expect it to like unless there's an overall market shift um on some major news or something that is in positive uh to crypto market in general okay so in coming weeks if there's a overall like a, if there's a you know oversold bounce or you know uh or some positive news uh, i can easily expect ripple to come up to like maybe 72 cents um then perhaps some like consolidation and then break out of this wedge formation but i don't expect it to straight break out of this wedge formation without any con consolidation at around 72 levels or even above 72 levels okay um so let's look at the news real quick um i, I like <laughs> I, i'm not a big fan so sometimes i look at coindesk and you know um it's it's one of those websites where it usually use tend to find more negative news for the crypto market and um I'm not a fan of the website, the but I just like to look at it because you know you know that okay, these are the most negative news that you can have um on on like you know on digital media because that will give you an indication or a gauge that okay if this is the level of negative negative negativity there which is out there uh you can gauge how the more other people are reading it uh and kind of just kind of like trade based on that um again a lot of people are just using blockchain technology like you know mainstream companies are trying to use blockchain technology and you know um trying to like just you know get on the bandwagon i guess <laughs> um nothing as far as like you know I, I again i don't see anything as a red flag uh for the crypto market bitcoin in general um 
it's just a news and like some of them are like you know uh, they, they have to write something <laughs> if they don't write anything then nobody will on, come on their website so they will have to write something and write some articles okay uh, coming back to the technicals and doing a recap um, so ripple is coming to a, um, a major resi uh, major uh, support point right now around uh, 58 cents uh, and it's a must hold support for ripple um, i expect some kind of bounce for this altcoins in uh, the next few days um, just because a lot of them are have been oversold and uh, you know the market the regular market will open up tomorrow um, so we'll ha we'll see some kind of action in a lot of this altcoins uh, in a few days okay um, as far as the resistance goes the first level of resistance for ripple will be 63 cents if we can overcome that resistance uh, the next level of resistance will be around 72 cents um, after that it will have to consolidate a little bit and then uh, make it its way towards 80 cents uh, for ripple 80 81 cents if we can break out of that 80 81 cents that's a very good sign uh, that's a uh, one of the resistance that we couldn't break out in previous couple of tries so if we can uh, break out of that then it will be a very bullish sign for ripple okay so that's all guys i will try to do some other altcoins and uh, bitcoin later today uh, again i'm um, sorry i couldn't make uh, more videos in past couple of days i've been spending some time with friends and family uh, but hopefully you know uh, you are doing the same and enjoying this long weekend um, and you know giving some time to friends and family as well okay talk to you soon